So here are the releasing hormones from the hypothalamus. The ones with the green box around it, that means the mechanism of action is phospholipase C. The ones with orange means CAMP. This is supposed to be red, but it looks a little pink over the PRL and the GH. It means receptor enzyme receptors and the purple, T3 and T4, and cortisol are intracellular receptors. So the TRH, thyrotropin releasing hormone, is made in the hypothalamus. It stimulates the release of TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, and the release of PRL or prolactin. TSH, the mechanism of action is the CAMP, second messenger system. The TSH stimulates the release of T3 and T4 from the thyroid gland. T3 and T4 stimulate three things. They stimulate glycolysis, gluconeogenesis, and oxygen consumption. T3 and T4 increases glucose oxidation and the metabolic rate. And it regulates brain development and growth. PRL, prolactin in females, pink, stimulates milk production from the breasts. PR and PRL and PR in production. It also stimulates, for the boys, their interstitial cells or their Leydig cells, which are in their testes, to be sensitive to LH. The next hormone that was, that's made in the hypothalamus is GnRH, gonadotropin releasing hormone, and it's green, so that means it's phospholipase C mechanism of action. That stimulates the release of LH and FSH, which are both CAMP. LH is a luteinizing hormone, which stimulates in females the maturation of the ovarian follicle and ovulation, which is the release of an egg once a month. It also stimulates the production and release of estrogen and progesterone in the ovaries, and it stimulates the release of testosterone from the testes. The next hormone that is made in the hypothalamus is the GHRH, growth hormone releasing hormone it stimulates the release of the growth hormone growth ho in the anterior pituitary and the gh stimulates the release of igf1 from the liver igf1 stimulates cartilage growth gh also stimulates bone growth muscle growth which is protein synthesis and the breakdown of triglycerides GH also increases blood glucose levels. The next hormone made in the hypothalamus is CRH. A corticotropin releasing hormone, which stimulates the release of adrenocorticotropin release or adrenocorticotropin hormone which is in the anterior pituitary. Those are both CAMP, second messenger systems. The ACTH stimulates the release of cortisol from the adrenal cortex. Cortisol does several things. It helps us cope with stress. It keeps blood, glu blood glucose concentrations constant, blood glucose levels constant. It stimulates gluconeogenesis. It stimulates the breakdown of proteins into amino acids and it stimulates the breakdown of fats into fatty acids and glycerol. If you have high concentrations of cortisol, it can do three things. Reduce swelling, inhibit learning and memory, and it can also cause a negative calcium balance. So those are the releasing hormones from the hypothalamus.
that release into the anterior pituitary gland.